the life God wants us to live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We yeah. And, in, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. We was born in iniquity. And we, wherever we born in this earth, we made it our bed. And when God's word come forward, we don't want to move our bed because we don't got too comfortable in it. God is a yeah. moving God. He, he stay moved. He got, we got to move with him. You, we yeah. got to pick up all cross and walk because I don't want to be left behind. I want to walk with him. I don't want to walk behind him. I want to walk beside him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is a really good reminder of change and movement that often we don't want to. We want it done for us, but that's <laughs> that's not exactly how it works. <laughs> I know, I know. But I'm going to tell you, the only way we're going to get to heaven, we got to do what God say to us. We can't leave our own understanding. We don't know. We don't know nothing when it comes to God. We don't know how mm-hmm. He come. We don't know what what we're gonna have to go through. But He know. He know the end and yeah. He know the beginning. Yeah, yeah. He know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, Dorothy, I want to thank you for joining us today and and for offering your inspiration to the listeners. Um, before we close out today. What do you hope readers learn or take away after reading your book? Well, <clears throat> I want them to know they're not alone, that we serve a God that loves us so much. Oh, he died on the cross for our sins. He took upon the whole the sin of the world. He didn't he didn't he didn't know no sin. He took upon our sin that were, that we might have a, a free life, from, free from slavery. Mm-hmm. That we might mm-hmm. that we might have a life, a repentance. We got to be strong. We got to stay strong. I mean, we can yeah. maybe do it one night, but joy come in the morning. We just got to hold on. I mean, this world is coming to an end, and, you know, everything's like the world on the bottom side of wrong is right, right is wrong. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. But, you know, God's word will, be, God word will prevail. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, Dorothy, I want to thank you for joining us today and being our guest on Books on Air. Okay, and I, I enjoy talking with you as well. Yes. My guest this week has been Dorothy Melton, author of the book, It's Amazing. And you can find out more about the book on Amazon, and I'll link to the show notes, so be sure to check that out. You've been listening to the Books on Air podcast, brought to you on webtalkradio.net. You can also hear this podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and Apple Podcasts. I'm Sloan Fremont, and I hope you'll join us for the next Books on Air podcast. Remember, you never know who's going to be here, and you never know what we're going to talk about. Thank you so much for listening.